Got dreams of being a professional podcaster, but have no idea what you're doing? This is impossible. That's about to change. A new kind of school. Welcome to the Pod School Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Pod School Podcast. My name is Rachel Corbett, and it is a delight to be back in your ears again this week. On the show today, I'm going to be talking about the easiest way to disconnect from your audience. When you are podcasting or doing a show of any type, the only real way to get people to come back in the long term or to be fans of your show is if you connect with them. There are a million different ways to do that, um, but it is so important at the base of everything that you do that you establish a connection with the people on the other end of the earbuds. One of the ways that you can easily stop that from happening is by reading. This is something, obviously, if you are new to podcasting, that can be a bit of a crutch because you can feel like you need a real roadmap of word for word planned out out episode in front of you when you sit down to record. And while that is admirable, absolutely, because I am an advocate of being over-prepared and making sure that you know where everything is going, and it is so important to plan before you sit down and open the microphones, but there is such a thing as too much planning. And by that, I mean writing down a script. It is very difficult for even the most accomplished Oscar-winning actor to read and sound like they're not reading. If you listen to yourself, if you maybe record a version of a podcast, if you do tend to write scripts and listen to that and then do another one where you just do bullet points and deliver it quite naturally, if you have bullet points there and you just use them to jog your memory for the information that you're delivering or the story that you're telling and you trust your brain to come up with the stuff that you need at the moment, you will be delivering that in much more of a relaxed conversational style, which is really important for the person on the other end. If you feel like the person that's delivering the content to you isn't engaged or isn't right there with you talking right to you, it's very easy to, without even thinking, just tune out from the content. And obviously, you can understand why you'd want to give your listeners as few of these opportunities as possible. Rather than going in with a script and feeling like you need to be wedded to that to feel comfortable and confident, make sure you you plan as much as possible before you sit down in front of the microphone and trust that if you've read all you need to read, if you've written your notes and you've gone over them, if you're drawing from personal experience and personal stories, you have all that information in your brain. And if you just have a few trigger words on a piece of paper, exactly what you want to say will come out at the time it's supposed to say. And at the end of the day, if you do it and you record it and it is an absolute balls up, This is the joy of not doing live radio, but doing a podcast. You can always edit it, pick up from the moment that you stuff it up, re-record if you really want to go right back to the beginning. This is where editing will really, really help you. But it's very important that you give yourself the greatest chance of connecting and holding your audience's attention as possible. And reading is a really simple way that you can lose that connection. So that is today's tip. I hope you found that helpful and I hope that you will trust yourself and your brain enough to know that you can podcast and present without having to read a script. You know your stuff, you've got this, you will be fine and it will make a huge difference to how you present your podcast. As always, you can get in touch with me on Twitter at Rachel Corbett or via my website, rachelcorbett.com and you can head to podschool.com.au to get assistance in my online podcasting course. If you're looking for something that's really step-by-step and in-depth through every single part of the process. If you like the show, please leave a review wherever you download it and I will see you again next week. Until then, happy podcasting. That's all for today. 